recognize him forever. Being kind doesn't make you weak, Klaus. All right, chit chat's over. Can we slaughter someone now? So what's your bright idea? As it happens, I'm working on a plan as we speak, one which will be bolstered greatly if you just calm down and Do keep your eye on the prize. manage me. I have every right Hayley, to... Hayley, you're getting married today. An act which will seal the loyalty of all the wolves that answer to Finn. You will be queen to an army. And a queen does not run. I assure you that all those who stood against me ended up either desiccated, dust, or dinner. <sighs> so much for asking. Now, you were saying... I had to make it seem as if I cared for nothing, for no one. But you should know that when I hurt you... Elijah, forever is a burden that nobody should have to bear. I know in the last millennium we haven't always seen eye to eye, but in this moment I am reminded once again of something Elijah has always said. <sighs> Family is power. You know, whatever you may think of me, I am a man of my word. Actually, he's a liar a beast and a degenerate. But in this exceptional instance, he may be of some use. Oh, good. You're back. Dante's minion remains within St. Anne's Church. Clearly, it's a trap. But of course it's a trap. And how good is it that we bring surprises of our own? Wait, so you two are friends now? Absolutely not. We're merely aligned out of necessity for the purpose we both enjoy the most. Glorious murder. I don't think you want to hurt me. See, Klaus is the most ruthless vampire in all of history. And guess what? He kind of likes me. So... I was a damn fool to ever love you. I could say the same. Then we are done here. We most certainly are not. You're gonna use that on me. Infect me with the same hex that damn near destroyed you. I don't want to. But I will if I have to. What? I'm seven, not stupid. <laughs> right. You ready for battle, Haley? Just promise me that Francesca doesn't come out of this alive. Her head will be delivered to you on a silver platter. Little wolf. I could do with a bit of murder and mayhem. It is better I die as someone I'm proud of than live as someone I despise. No, it's better a flawed life lived than wasted rotting in clay. Hey, look what I found. I wonder if it'll work. Oh, bloody hell. Come on, let's try it. Hey, Nick. What the hell does that mean? You said, God, it's little bitch. The ancestors demand an offering in exchange for power. And your child will be a fine offering. No. No. If you do not take my baby, I will kill all of you! No, you won't. And neither will Klaus or Elijah. When your baby is born, you will offer it up to those who came before us. <laughs> I'm sorry, Haley. But this is the way it had to be. No! 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 You needn't worry. Elijah explained the problem. And I could help. Rather confident, aren't we? The spirit of the host body is powerful, but I can cast a spell. Put you in a deep sleep, and then suppress this other essence. You'll be just fine. <sighs> Lovely. When do we start? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. She spouts off some magical diagnosis, and we are all supposed to applaud. Nick, she's trying to help. Yes, but for the sake of keeping our options open, why not write down your spells and incantations? That way, we can have them double-checked by an impartial third party. Say, Davina, she'd love to prove me wrong. 
I doubt she would understand my magic, let alone have the power to execute it. Oh, so you're our only hope, then. Seems rather convenient, doesn't it? I knew it would be difficult to win your trust, Niklaus. Your reputation precedes you. Breaking my heart. And you swore that you would never speak of this.